Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be looking at lesson 6.4, which is the percent equation. Today you're gonna to be trying seven things in your notes, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we wanna look at is what is the percent equation? So it's basically the percent proportion, but written in the equation format. Um, so we're still talking about A is the part, P is the percent, and W is the whole. And this is how you'd use it in, in, in an equation. We know that A would be part of the whole, so that would be your solution, equals P percent, and you do need to make sure that your percent is written in fraction or decimal form, and then W would represent the whole, so basically A is is, P is percent, and W is of. So if we were trying to figure out 50% of 30, we would be changing 50% to 0.5, multiplying it by 30, and then it's equal to 15. What I would like for you to copy down is this part right here, and we're basically going to um, label each part. So W represents the whole thing, P represents percent, and A represents part. Another way that'll help you possibly remember this, um, A, the part is also is, the percent obviously is your percent, and W is represented by the word whole of. Um, before you start solving this, you also need to write the percent as a decimal before you begin solving. And if you're solving for the percent, you just need to change the, per, that decimal answer to back, back to a percent. Go ahead and take time now to pause the video and copy what you see on this screen. Once you're done, click play. So this next one we're going to try together. Um, and so you'll write it in your notes as we go, and then three, four, five, six, and seven, you're going to try on your own. This one says, what number is 24% of 50? This one is our percent, and of 50, that's our whole. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug it into the um, equation. We don't know what is is, so we're just going to write an x, and then equals percent, which is 24%, and then multiplied by of, which is 50. Remember, before we started working this out, you do need to change this percent to a decimal. So instead of 24, it needs to be 0.24. So we're basically going to be multiplying 0.24 and 50. So you just take your calculator, and 0.24 times 50 is 12. So 12 is 24% of 50. Okay? The next one you're going to try on your own. The next one you're actually solving for the percent. So you're going to pause it right here, try it using the equation, and then click play. All right, so it says 9.5 is, so that means it's going to represent the is. That's going to be here on this side of the equation sign. What percent? We don't know the percent, so that'll be an x. And then of 25, multiplying by 25. Notice that you have x times 25 is equal to 9.5. So to solve, you're going to have to divide both sides by 25. So we'll type into our calculator 9.5 divided by 25, and we get this decimal, 0.38 is equal to x. Um, remember, if we're solving for percent, we've got to change it back into percent form. So this answer should be 38%. Okay, how did you do? Number four, again, pause, try it on your own. Once you're done trying, click play. So this one, it looks like we're solving for of. We have is, which is 39. We have 52%, but we don't have of, so I'm gonna just write an X. Remember, the percent needs to be changed into a decimal. And then we can solve. It looks like 0.52 is being multiplied by x, so what we'll need to do to solve here is to divide both sides by 0.52 to get x all by itself. So we're basically doing 39 divided by 0.52, and that gives us 75. And 75 is our answer because we're not solving for percent. We don't need to move any decimals. How did you do on number four? Number five and six are both gonna be on this page. Again, we're gonna pause the video, try both, and once you're done, click play to check. All right, what number is 10% of 20? So writing and solving the equation, we don't know what is is, but we know that percent is 10%, so I'm gonna write 0.10 and then times 20. So you're essentially doing 0.10 times 20, 
and that's going to give you 2. Over here, what number is 150% of 40? Again, we don't know what is is. We do know the percent is 150% or 1.50 in decimal form, and then timesing that by 40, so 1.50 times 40 is 60, so x is equal to 60. Oops. Okay, do we do okay on those? The last one you're going to try on your own, this one's a word problem. It says find the amount of a 16% tip on the food total. Okay, here's your total price. And we're trying to find 16% of 29.15. 16% of $29.15. Go ahead and pause right now to see if you can find the tip and then use that tip to also find the total. Okay, so your equation would be this. X is equal to 0 0.16 times 29.15. So when we type that into the calculator, 0 0.16 times 29.15, we get 4, X is equal to 4.664. We do need to make this look like money, so we're going to just round that to say about $4.00. 66 cents is so that four doesn't change it anything so that's going to be the tip and then in restaurant world you do have to add the tip back to the total so we would just take twenty nine dollars and fifteen cents and add four dollars and sixty six cents so four dollars and sixty six cents plus your twenty nine fifteen gives you thirty three dollars and eighty one cents so that would be your total. Okay, that's going to conclude our notes for today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you have those seven things written down and make sure that you understand that the percent proportion is A is equal to P times W, where the percent is written as a decimal. We'll catch you next time.